So hello guys, welcome back. Today in this video, I'll be telling you all about the layers of retina. First of all, let me tell you that retina has 10 layers. Now in my previous video, I have given you the inf general information about retina. Uh, here I'll be starting along with the layers of retina. Suppose this is sclera, outermost layer. Now oh, here comes the choroid. This is lamina fusca. Now along with the choroid, let me make here the pigmented epithelial layer. These are the pigment epithelial cells. Here are the tight junctions. Please ignore the background sounds. These are the pigmented epithelial layer cells. Now as you all know that I have already told you that there are two types of cells in retina. Those are rods and cone cells. Rod and cone cells. Cone cells are for the bright light. Whereas rod cells are for dim or dull light. Dim or dull. Epithelial cells contain the nucleus, pigmented epithelial layer. Now, the rod and cone cells consist of two parts. Uh, you can say this is the rod cell. The sketch is not working. Suppose this is the rod cell. Now this part is called as the outer segment whereas this is the inner segment here lies the nucleus and the end of the rod cell is called as spherical or spherical. Here is attached. First of all I'll tell you the structure then I'll quickly tell you about all the 10 layers because the video will go far much longer. So now here comes. this is suppose a rod cell and this is a cone cell here is the nucleus now along with this here are the bipolar neurons here are the bipolar neurons I'll just like here will be also rod cone rod cone rod cone cells and it will be all bipolar cells okay now here are the specialized ganglion cells which will create the action potential and take them to these are the nerve fibers from the ganglion cells which will later on make up the optic nerve now as these were rods and cones, these were bipolar, this was ganglion cells. So guys, suppose this is one rod, this is cone, this is rod, this is cone. Now, bipolar, bipolar, bipolar and bipolar. Note that this is from outer to inner side, which means that suppose uh, this is your eyeball. Okay, I'll again make a defected anode. Good, it's good. This was sclera. This was choroid. Now here will be the pigmented cell. Here will be the rods and cones. Here will be bipolar. Here will be ganglion cells. So it is going from outer to inner side. So you can say from here to here, this is the outer layer of retina. Now what comes next? There are small type of cells which uh, you can remember by HAI Horizontal cells, amacrine cells and interplexiform cells Horizontal cells are present in between this part These are the, let me make another make with another sketch These are the horizontal cells
ओके दीज आर द एमक्राइन सेल्स इन द एंड ऑफ द वीडियो आई टेल यू ऑल द टेन लेयर्स सो दैट्स वाई आई एम टेलिंग यू ऑल दिस नाउ द पोर्शन वेयर हॉरिजोंटल सेल्स आर प्रेजेंट एंड एमक्राइन सेल्स आर प्रेजेंट the two layers you will be learning just right now this is the outer plexiform layer this is inner plexiform layer now you might know that interplexiform cell will be present in between these two layers the last portion of this video there are three another type of cells which are called as you can understand as m a m just like may I come in ma'am so these are microglia astrocytes and muller cells muller cells is one of the most important cells which are present in between somewhere here or you can say here are the muller cells now two layers are made by muller cells muller cells give their extensions as this was the inner layer of the retina so here might be the vitreous body okay so one extension goes like this and here results in the formation of foot processes which will separate the vitreous body from the retinal layer these are the foot processes okay so one process it will give towards outer part which will adherent which will add here sorry the rod and cone cells easily now this layer you can say this and these are the another two layers so guys now i'll be telling you all about all the 10 layers of retina okay so please just i have already told you okay okay one cells one type of cells are left microglia are present in whole surrounding extracellular fluid now left are the astrocytes these you can say these are the astrocytes or oh, not outside these are the astrocytes which are the nutritive cell or protective cells or called as the neuroglial cells in the <coughs> retina now guys i'll be telling you all about all the 10 layers of uh, retina so please just uh, make sure that you have understood all these things uh, so the first layer will be the pigmented epithelial layer i am just writing here because if i'll write in the next page then it will be difficult for you to remember the second is the layer of rod and cone cells layer of rod and cone cells third layer will be the outer limiting membrane this membrane which was made by the muller cells this is called as outer limiting membrane outer limiting membrane make sure that my diagram has gone little bit out of proportion this limiting membrane will be up to here so that nuclear layer will come later on now comes the outer nuclear layer then comes the outer plexiform outer plexiform layer now comes the inner nuclear layer inner nuclear layer in which horizontal cells amacrine horizontal cells are present molar cells are present and bipolar nuclei are present next comes the inner plexiform layer this then number 8 comes the ganglionic cell layers ganglionic cell layer number 9 comes the nerve fibers and number 10 comes the this is called as inner limiting membrane which is near to the vitreous body means inner limiting membrane will be here vitreous body will be here inner limiting membrane so guys this was the information about layers of retina i hope you all understood this please like and share thank you so much